The jungle carpets are hatching, folks. Let's check them out. What's up, everybody? I'm Jeremy, and you're watching Warfels Morse. This week's video, folks, is probably the highlight of our 2023 breeding season. Our baby jungle carpets are now starting to hatch. There's like three of them pipped, I think. So we're going to go through uh, and just basically cut all the eggs. So that way, everybody's got an easy exit out. Just make sure all the babies are okay. Make sure there's no wrapped umbilical cords, all that stuff. Uh, I know, like, some people might, a lot of people like to let carpets pip. We're going to go through and do this the old-fashioned way of how I do with, with ball python stuff just because of one experience I had with a baby with its uh, umbilical cord wrapped around its neck. I don't want that to happen to any of these babies in this clutch. So uh, we're just going to go through, cut them like we do everything and just make sure everything's okay. Before we get into uh, checking out these babies, I need you guys to do me two favors, please. One, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell, hit that like button, and drop me a comment down below. What do you think about us having our baby carpets finally and do you think this is probably the, do you guys think that this is the highlight of our 2023 season or do you think something that we've already cut or that's to be cut that you know of is the highlight of the 2023 season let me know in the comments down below and also check out the sponsors of this week's episode please Gettysburg Reptile Expo LLC is located at the all-star event complex in Gettysburg Pennsylvania 45,000 square foot venue with 125 plus vendors and top quality breeders, along with 270 plus tables. If you're looking for a python, boa, colubric, gecko, lizard, or amphibian, you've come to the right place. Doesn't matter if you're a breeder looking for that missing piece to your project, or a pet owner looking for your next scaly friend, Gettysburg Reptile Expo LLC has you covered. Need an incubator or rack system? They have you covered with sea serpents set up there to meet all your needs. The next show dates are March 18th, July 15th, and November 11th of 2023. Show times are from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Make sure to check them out on their website, Instagram, and Facebook. Mark your counters because this is one show you don't want to miss. So I'll see you at Gettysburg Reptile Expo, LLC. Make sure you check out Chris at BNS Reptilia if you're looking for a ball python, blood python, boa, or colubrid. He's also a rodent breeder, and on top of it, he is Pennsylvania's distributor of Coco to Go and the Chipper. So if you need any of those things, hit Chris up at BNS Reptilia. Make sure you check out Nathan at Infinite Possible Pythons. He's working some killer ball python projects along with some other species of reptiles as well. He's also a one-stop shop for all of your branding needs. So check out all of his information in the description down below and hit him up. If you want to use the best reptile record keeping and tracking software on the market today, scan the QR code or click our partnership link in the description down below for a free 30-day trial of Husbandry Pro. I promise you, you will not regret it. Thank you everybody for sponsoring this week's episode. I greatly appreciate all the support. Now, I'm dying inside. I've been waiting to cut these baby, the, this clutch for a couple hours now. Dom was out having some fun. I need my cameraman Dom to share this experience with. So now that he's here, we're all good. I'm starting to calm down a little bit. Let's cut these eggs and see how we made out. Like I said, this is clutch three. And there was some of the... All right, now we're gonna go, I'm just gonna pull these. All right, now there's no special morphs or anything that we're looking for. I mean, everything is gonna be jungle carpets. So it's not like we're looking for, you know, f anything fancy pattern wise or anything like that. I just want to make sure all these babies are okay. Let 
These eggs are so much smaller. Let me snip that just a little bit better. I can already tell you just by looking at that one there, you can already see in there that this baby here has a lot of tipping, which is just like dad. Pairing was uh, Xena, which is now Xander, since we found out that she was a he. But uh, he was bred to our female Lagatha. If we can't get the head to poke out here, hold on. Come on. Stick that cute little head out. So that's the one thing I think is so neat with carpets is the head patterns. And hopefully probably too glossy at the moment. Yeah. Anyway, beautiful, beautiful baby jungle. I'm just gonna go right down the line. This is another one that's already been pipped. Here you see the umbilical cord, which he's got his head wrapped underneath it. Which is why I wanted to do this, because help alleviate any of these issues that might arise. There we go. You can see, again, a lot of tipping on these. Love the head pattern so far that we're seeing. They, <laughs> they are not showing up very well on camera. Like I said, though, folks, the big thing is just making sure that these babies are healthy, don't have their umbilical cord wrapped around their head or neck or anything goofy like that. And that one came right out. They are so little compared to ball pythons. So cute though. Now this was an 11 egg clutch. We did have one go bad probably like two, three weeks into incubation. So I just pulled that one out. So we're down to 10 eggs, but still everything's looking good so far. Oh, look at that. That's cool patterns. Puff your head back out, buddy. Come on. Here we go. Very cool head pattern on this one. So one neat thing I love about carpets is just the head patterns. They, they always have such... Every carpet is super unique because not one looks like the another. Like, there's not... No two carpets alike. Alright. Next one up.
Now that looks like dad's head stamp almost. Almost perfectly identical to dad's head stamp as he pulls back in. But still lots of tipping on these guys or so it looks anyway right now. So we'll see. I've never hatched like this is our first this is our first carpet python clutch pick. So I've never seen them like this early in their color uh, stage. That's one thing you, I want you guys to keep in mind. They don't start out these beautiful black and yellow snakes like you would see behind me if they were out. There's actually there's mom. They don't start out these beautiful black and yellow snakes off the start. They go through what's called an ontogenetic color change. So basically that means they go from one color as babies to a completely different color as adults. So that's why these babies don't look these brilliant blacks and yellows and stuff like that. They're more meant to be camouflaged when they're this little. They don't start getting those adult colors till a little ways into uh, you know maturing. Like they'll start getting their colors like within the first year, but you know, they don't start off with those colors. This is a tiny egg. Very nice little baby in there. Cramped looking, but they are cute little things. That there might just be my favorite so far out of this clutch. Just because the little bit of yellow that it will have, this thing's going to be a lot of black from how it looks anyway. That thing's awesome looking. Absolutely gorgeous. All right, now we'll go to this one, which was I think the first one to be pipped in all honesty. Oh. Come out and say hi to the world there, little buddy. Eh, he stuck his head out for a minute. There is there's his head. And looks almost like dad's head stamp. Such these, I just that's the one thing I love about carpet pythons is just the heads on them. They have such unique, awesome heads. All right, two eggs left. Two eggs left. This one's really dark. Yeah. Look at that. That is dark. It's straight black. Yeah. Like that. All these have like a crap ton of tipping. That one is like black. <laughs> I love it. Oh, God, I love carpet pythons, folks. Absolutely love these guys. All right, this is the last egg, folks. So far, everything looks 
perfect with those babies. I could not be any happier. And, ta-da, very last baby, his head's back over here, but there again, lots of nice tipping it looks like he'll have, absolutely gorgeous. Okay, let's go and get these stick them here, I need the light, maybe you can get it better. Yeah, one's already coming out. <laughs> All right, folks, that is Clutch 3, which is our first Jungle Carpet Python Clutch. And I'm absolutely freaking over the moon. I cannot wait to see these babies out of the egg. Uh, there's just, there's some gorgeous ones. It's gonna, definitely going to, I need to keep for myself one female. That's all I really want to keep for myself is just one female. So that means everything else is up for grabs. Most of them are spoken for. There's a couple that are still available. So go to my Husbandry Pro store. Link is in the description down below. Click that link for my Husbandry Pro store. Go into the incubator and this clutch will be in there. Get on the wait list. If you wait too long, you're going to be out of luck. <laughs> um... These guys have been moving rather rapidly. I've had a lot of people messaging me about them. So, you know, like I said, there's only maybe a couple left. And that's even depending if people start dropping off of the list. So uh, definitely go click that link and get on the list if you are interested in getting one of these beautiful jungle carpets. Like I said, I only need one female. Hopefully, there's two of them here that I'm hoping are female that I could get to pick from. It's going to be hard to pick between those two though. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be it folks. I greatly appreciate all the love and support. Go and check out the sponsors of this week's episode. Click our affiliate link for husbandry pro as well, please. It's in the description down below free 30 day trial. You can't go wrong with it. Check out Redline shipping. Use this code Robin 60 for 60% off your, uh, it does, it's not even your next two shipments, just it's 60% off of two shipments. So go ahead and use that code. I love Redline shipping. That's who I'm using for now on. So uh, give them a shot. I guarantee you, you will not, you're not gonna wanna switch after using Redline. Uh, prices are better and you don't sacrifice anything on the customer service end. And that's gonna be it folks. Make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe if you're not subscribed already, please. Hit that notification bell, drop that comment, and I'll catch you next time. Later.